Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, we are going to look at one more topic on the mailing part itself as usual, which we are continuing right now. And this time it would be MIME hyphen SMIME. Now, as usual, you know how we work. First, let's get into the demo and then try to understand the meaning behind it. Now, what are we trying to get the demo out of it? And here we are trying to build this MIME SIME part of it. Okay, so let's click on this creating MIME message and scroll down here the web methods itself they have given certain code okay and they are asking us to implement it okay so we are going to do that first let's do one thing let's first get this MIME create MIME data okay so let's understand the definition later but let's start with this create MIME data this step creates empty MIME object it does not take any input it pushes an empty MIME object named MIME data in the pipeline by adding this first step it just creates an empty object okay so let me create a flow service <clears throat> okay I will say uh, implement MIME I'll say s hyphen MIME s hyphen MIME okay s dot Okay, s dot hyphen mime i've never given this kind of name before s dot it doesn't work yeah you know right so s mime that's weird that's what we are going to do finish <clears throat> now this time we are going with the try cache block guys because it's a uh, quite an important implementation and here i'm going to say main and this would be my success okay um uh, try cache block okay this is my try <coughs> sorry about that try and catch main is on failure exit on no sorry exit on success exit on failure okay and exit on done this will be my catch block okay and here i'm going to get get last error as usual <coughs> See this we have been we have been missed a lot in doing this okay we have to start utilizing this get last error in each and every code that you write okay so paste it come on okay cool we have pasted it right now <coughs> and what are we going to do with this First is create MIME data. Now, where can I get this MIME? Uh, create, create MIME. Okay, so it's in public. Let's go this. So in package navigator, it's in MIME. See, there's a folder itself called as MIME. Okay, so create MIME data. Right, this automatic tab. I hate it. Um, I think I've lost the track of it. Where what is? Where was it? Okay, there you go. It's on page twenty-seven. <coughs> create MIME data. Okay. Now we'll give the name it as. It creates an empty object. Creates an empty, empty MIME object. That's what they have said it, and that's what it will happen. Create an em <coughs> creates an empty. MIME object. I don't know it's object, but uh, you yeah, know it's it's okay. So let's create MIME object. Next, if I just run this right now, just see what happens. Right click run as flow service. So yeah, MIME has been created. That's cool. Next, add MIME header. Okay, I'm gonna say take this add MIME header, which means you're adding the MIME header. Add M I M E header. Here, if you can see, it says add any application specific headers. Okay, add any application specific headers. If you have any application specific headers, then we can add it. But as of now, we don't have any application specific. We'll take whatever we have right now. We'll just take these variables and we'll set it. Okay. So x doc type. So what I'm going to do? Click on this. 
in the uh, MIME header, I'm going to take a variable, insert string, okay, and the value is alert, A L E R T, and X C V R T. Insert X C V R T, and this time I'm going to give as nine. Okay, so we have created this MIME header. Okay, MIME header with this values. Not sure what's the use of it, but you know, it's there. So we are going to say that add any application specific headers. I'm going to give the same comment as add any application specific headers. Okay. Now next is they're saying that string to string, which means that here you remember that. HTML part what we had done before string to stream so we'll go back here send email HTML and this is string to bytes and here we had given this particular HTML on as flow so let us see if this have this HTML okay we have this string to stream right so I'll take this keep it a temporary variable okay this is the one I'm going to say what is, what is that they are saying? They are saying, see, it's saying string to string. So we can take that itself. String to stream. Let's drag and drop here string to stream. Okay. Now here I am going to use this variable here, encode it, paste this string to stream. And the output will be in a input stream okay rather than that I will just copy this and I will paste it saying that input HTML stream because we are trying to stream HTML okay this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to drop this anyways this and uh, this particular string is also not required so I'm going to drop both of them okay so we'll say convert convert a uh, string of which is of type HTML to stream okay cool next then they are saying that add body part see add content to the MIME object guys see here we have created MIME data right here we have created MIME data and uh, here we have added the header now we are saying that add this particular body part to the MIME object which means the one that we have created here okay add MIME and body part we are adding it to the body part okay so add add HTML string HTML stream to MIME object which was created as an abstract okay so what are we doing here here um, MIME data, MIME data is getting mapped, cool. MIME header, MIME header is getting mapped. There is no use of MIME header at this stage, but still, now see here, we are mapping this here to this guy. Okay. So that's what is going to happen. Okay. And if you can see here, add MIME, bo uh, add body part. Okay, that's the fourth step here. See. Hmm. Right. This step adds the content produced by step 3. Step 3 is nothing but this. 1, 2, 3. This is step 3. This is step 4. If you can see here, to MIME data object. If you view the pipeline, you will not note that the st stream output variable of step 3 is linked to this content variable, which is nothing but this. Ideally, what they were saying is that here, this in this stream, input stream, whatever it is, it should have actually mapped to this content variable, but that's fine. Uh, we're not worried on this much. I'm not sure where this stream is coming from. This is coming from this input data. That's not required ideally. Okay. Now, what is the content type? Here, see, content type is text slash plain. In our case, it is text slash HTML. Guys, content type, text slash HTML. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Text slash HTML. Content type is also set. Okay. Now, content type is set get envelope stream see what is the purpose of get envelope stream if you can see here 
the, this step generates a finished MIME message. If it takes MIME data object that was populated in step 2 and 4. This step generates the finished MIME message. This step generates the finished MIME message. Understand that it gives the finished MIME message. It takes MIME data object as that was populated in step 2 and 4 and produces an input stream or MIME message that contains the MIME message. Which means let, let us take this. What are they saying? Here they are saying get envelope stream which is nothing but this okay that's fine we'll, we'll get the envelope stream and here it is giving in envelope stream and mime message but this is in object format we need to read it from object to string that's the reason they use stream to string okay so stream to string okay stream to strings here Okay, there you go. So what what they are saying here? It's saying generate the final MIME message. Whatever it is, MIME generate the final MIME message. Okay. All right. Okay. Generate the MIME message. Generate the MIME message. And finally, read the object read stream to string okay now let's debug and see what happens okay and here i'm going to keep another abstract step so we know what is happening here okay abstract step okay now let's debug this see what happens debug s flow service okay so we'll go inside <coughs> first as you can see it's created mime object which is an empty then it has added the mime header which is actually not required but again string to stream we have converted this into stream okay then we are adding it to the body part now if you can see right adding to the body part if you click on the body part it is added to the mime data see mime data see added okay can you see text slash html it has added and it's of 7 bit okay then then finally we are converting it into the envelope stream which is nothing but uh, um, um, this particular uh, I don't know why it's uh, MIME data index content ID okay let's finally try to read the input to string let's see what happens okay it's gone to catch block there's some error what is error it says error there's some error what is error it says missing parameter input stream see something missing parameter input stream there's an error and it's saying that input stream is missing so somewhere we have missed something okay so does it mean that i need to remove this save it if i remove this input stream then um let's just remove this and see what happens if i just remove this okay let me map this and here I think the input stream is required I believe I don't know and okay there you go see input stream here this was the missing parameter and ideally I should have given this okay so this one this is what I should have given I'm sorry this is what it was missed so it has nothing to do with this content type okay or it has nothing to do with any of those things okay now let's see okay let's run directly this time and see what happens this time see you got the data now if you can see a string see it has converted the final see the final stream to string the final value has been converted to this see and envelope stream see all of them have converted now this is pretty cool okay pretty cool okay now but what is the use of it now the usage is not much known at yet okay we will come to the usage at later point of time but first with this can i send an email with this code can i send an email 
why not let's check that out okay why not let's go back to this show in package navigator copy this okay why not okay so i will drag and drop here okay send email send email to yandex okay so let me copy all those informations what i had before so that i know i am not doing any mistake so i'm going to copy this name to parameter from parameter the mail host and finally 465 okay and the password which i'm not going to tell that so let's let's make a call here see how i'm going to map to two is this okay two is this next subject uh, sending as m i m e then uh, from from this guy contact mathematics.com and here obviously i need to authenticate as well so type is basic user is this and password Oh, caps lock is on good. Good that it notices. Okay, one, seven. Okay, and secure. This is implicit. Okay, and what are we missing? The port four six five, and finally this SMTP host injure. Okay, right. Now here. this is fine now remember this this is where our html has been converted and saved it guys do you remember this here here uh, let me uh, this particular input stream is not required i'm see i'm this html is converted into here okay and then it is added to the body part it is added to the body part and finally with that body part i am going to send directly to this nothing else nothing else okay nothing else and let me disable these two step which is ideally not required okay now let's see okay whether mail was sent successful see now go back to yandex oh come on you should have had some email by now all right i think it's not coming up anything all right does say it has gone successful not sure. okay see there you go guys now it came it's not no it's in yesterday's i'm sorry it's yesterday's not now um i should have received it just let me pause the video and see what was the mistake and resume back okay all right got i think i found a mistake so here as you can see here we have added the the step the step is quite simple i think i've misplaced the steps here first you create an mime object then you add the headers then you are converting that html to stream then that you are adding that stream to body part and after that you are generating the mime message see you are generating uh, that mime message should be sent in smtp and here it is here is what it is see this is what okay now by doing this just right click and run as check this out okay right click and run as and check this out uh, here you should get it i am refreshing it now see now you got it see sending as mime okay so this this was actually something that was missed okay and um, yeah um, this is what it has to be done by sending into uh, get envelope stream and then you kind of send it over here okay um, that's what you have done so this is how you can even send an email but there is another way to send you can always add this as an attachment see here guys if i scroll up below up here okay and instead of this if i remove it 
what I'm going to do is that I can remove this and I also I, I can add it in the attachment if you want see I can add it even in the attachment and here but you have to say explicit as text slash HTML that's the pain here you have to carry text slash HTML okay then even if you do this uh, that also works okay that also works okay see right click run as flow service and let me refresh it should get another one by now okay what i've done i've done as just a minute i think i've done another here i should have send it as text as html yeah that is what we are expected to get it okay so think think we, there is some tweaks that i have to do okay but this is how we are going to work it out okay i'll anyways going to share the video the video has exceeded the length of the video has exceeded quite some time i'm going to fix this code and in the next video i'm going to iterate back again with the proper working code until then uh, see you guys in the next tutorial thank you